All right, we are ready to start the warm wish winter wishes, the soap dispenser thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so um, we had to go out and make sure that we got- Do A lot of gathering. Yes, <laughs> gather your stuff. <laughs> and, um, and instead of a soap dispenser, I'm gonna show you what I got here. It's inside my bag. I think it's a really good idea, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, now she tells me. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't use a soap dispenser, but I'm using this little jar here to be able to wrap it around. And I thought, you know what? You could make multiples of these along, you know, put your spices or your buttons or whatever way you'd like to organize them with. And it, it just really decorates, it would decorate your area with a very wintry feel. So, mm -hmm. cause this is a beautiful little snowflake and we can't wait to try it. So see. All right, so the first instruction says to cut two pieces of a rinse away stabilizer and hoop both pieces. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And you always need about an inch around the outside of your hoop. And I use the outside hoop of which to measure that. And there's, it's two layers already, so I'm just cutting them at the same time. Oops. There we go. Pause for just a moment so we can see what we're doing. Oh, I think is that it's still stuck together. Okay, so she put the hoop down. She put the two pieces of fabric down, or the stabilizer down, and she cut around it. I'm gonna be sure I don't have any wrinkles. Mm. I tighten it a little bit. Now with the medium temperature iron, fuse the front fabric A to the fusible side of the Deco Magic. Okay, so here is the Deco Magic right here. Fusible side is the shiny side. Make sure I can see it. <laughs> there it is, you can see it. And we're gonna use it the wrong side of the fabric to the fusible of the Deco Magic. Mm -hmm. And then the other instructions say, and then with the medium iron, fuse the webbing to the wrong side of the back of fabric B. So what we're gonna do, here's this fusible webbing to the wrong side of the, the piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. Find a bobbin with embellished flawless 60 weight thread or use a quilter select pre-wound bobbin with a color that will match the outer satin stitch edge. Okay, now we're gonna load the design file soap wrap into the machine. Okay, okay. so how do we do this? Go to embroidery. And our USB. Our USB, because there it is. And, hmm, I'm sure you see it and I don't. No, it's not on there. You need to go down a little bit on your page. So, so just... scroll. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Here's the soap wrap. Woohoo! <laughs> Embroidery. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. There it is. I love it. I even love these colors. Aren't those cool <laughs> colors? I think I'm gonna do those. Okay. 
Thread the mat thread and embroider the front placement line, color number one, and center the fabric fused with Deco Magic over the placement line and tape to secure. We have to hit embroidery. Embroidery. To get to the. And that's our first stitch out. Here we go. I'm choosing a, well, actually, you'll see. Now we're going to center the fabric fused with Deco Magic over the placement line and tape to secure it. Here's the one with Deco Magic. I put one line down already. Let's put the other side down. Now embroider the tack down stitch color number two and then remove the tape. Thread with matte and embroider the snowflake color. There's the snowflake. Next step is to thread with matte thread and center the dimensional embroidery foam over the snowflake and secure with tape. So when finished, remove and discard the excess foam. All right, here's the big reveal. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Super pretty. On the machine and turn the turn to the back side. Do not remove the fabric from the hoop. Remove the paper backing from the webbing and fabric and center it over the back of the snowflake. Finger press the fabric to the back of the hoop and put the hoop back on the machine. So here it is. Here's the front. Here's the back. The matte thread, embroider the back fabric tack down stitch color number five, and embroider the buttonhole placement line color. That's what it looks like, color number five. And color number six is the buttonhole placement. Now take the hoop off the machine and do not remove the fabric from the hoop. Use applique scissors to trim away the fabric outside of the snowflake on the front and the back, trimming close to the tack down line. Here it is. 
I trimmed it away. It took a little while because especially with the deco magic because it's like super thick. There's the back, there's the front. And then it says here, if you have been using the white pre-round, which I have, remove the white thread and replace it with the bobbin that you wound with the thread that matches the outer satin stitch border and embroider the zigzag underlay stitch number seven. Double check to make sure the fabric is trimmed close on both sides of the hoop and embroider the final satin stitch border color number eight. This is what it looks like, color number seven and eight. Look at that. I love the way it looks. It's like three dimensional. Can you see it? It's like <laughs> super pretty. Look at that. All right. Now over here it says, now we need to leave the design hoop and put a small amount of seam sealant on a piece of paper and dip a toothpick into the sealant and apply inside the, the buttonholes. Okay. So we're going to do that. And we're going to let the sealant dry before we continue. Okay, here it is. Fray block prevents fraying on fabric and ribbon. It dries quick, clear, soft, and flexible. So this is what it looks like if you need to come and get some. Here's my dad. Here we go. So to remove the stabilizer while the design is still hooped, dip a cotton swab into water and on the swab around and run the swab around the design and continue adding more water to the swab until the snowflake releases from the stabilizer and set the snowflake aside to dry. goes all right there it is now I'm gonna set it aside to dry um, now it says in assembly instructions an elastic casing is created from two pieces of ribbon that will later slip around the soap jar lay the decorative ribbon 15 inches on the cutting mat with the wrong side facing up uh, now center the second piece of ribbon 12 inches over the decorative ribbon. At this point, both of the right sides of the ribbon are facing out. There should be one and a half inches of the decorative ribbon extending past each end. Now pin the, sorry, excuse me. Make sure you can see this. Pin the two ribbons together. Okay, so here it is. Here's the longer one and the shorter one is laid on top. And this particular ribbon does not have a right or wrong side. So we're just going to lay them on top of each other like this. And I'm going to do a casing for it. So attach a safety pin to one end of the six inch elastic and pull the elastic through the ribbon casing. Okay, so we got to put a safety pin on this and fit it through there. And Sue went to go and get the supplies and, and look oh, what she came up with. I came up with a bobkin. Oh, guess what? We can hold on to it and pull it through. That Yay. is super awesome. Awesome. So I think we'll That's try what that. We're doing. side and sew across the elastic at the edge of the shorter ribbon.
Uh oh. Did it run away? It ran away. Right, there it is. Woohoo. Very nice. Okay. Now, use a buttonhole cutter to open the buttonholes. Buttonhole cutter? Yep. It's got a little piece of wood underneath. Mm hmm. And I'm just going to rock back and forth to. I don't want to use a hammer. I do have one in my sewing room at home, but. I don't like using them. <laughs> I can imagine. No. Push one end of the ribbon through the buttonhole. The ribbon should go in from the back to the front. And apply a dab of fabric glue stick along the shorter edge of the ribbon and turn under an eighth twice. So we did put it in from the back to the front. Fold it over twice. And now we're going to do a top stitch. There's one side. That's done. Now I just got to do the other side. Product. Top stitched on both sides. But stretch the elastic around the soap dispenser. What do you think, guys? That looks pretty close, doesn't it? Love, love, love it. Oh, oh, she's excited nice. about it. I like it. I like it. She loves it. Uh -huh. Now you had an idea. I did have an idea. As we were getting ready to put this on, you see this piece right here? And this is such a cool idea. And you got your um, buttonholes to put the ribbon through, which makes it very cool. But this has a snowflake. It's very pretty. But what about if you wanted to do canisters? You could put your sugar and your flour and your quinoa or whatever or spices yeah you could just not do the snowflake and put in your words wow or you can do monograms yeah you can do names but the project itself yeah is universal it really <laughs> is so i really like it another thought i had was to possibly do like uh napkin rings oh yes so mm -hmm. you could make various different depending on the season so sure you could do mm -hmm. napkin rings and this would this would serve as a napkin ring absolutely yep and if you wanted to put a, a design per the um holiday yep same thing yeah it would be very so cool. we hope you've enjoyed it and we had a lot of fun making it yes and it didn't take us forever nope and definitely a project that you can do in a day mm -hmm. enjoy yes definitely mm -hmm.